Welcome back to Portland Today. We are here with our eighth hero segment to talk about a young man who's doing something really remarkable after he injured himself horribly. I'm sure his mother still has nightmares about it, but he's here to talk to us about platelet donation, which is different than blood donating, but every bit as critical. So yeah. welcome to Felix Lilly, a platelet donor who donates on a regular basis. But first of all, Felix, you have to tell us how you got into this situation and you fell out of a tree, not just like a little tree either. <laughs> no, it was, um, it was a, it was, it was a big tree. It was 35, 36 feet. A big feet. tree. Yeah. And that wow. was, I was about halfway up the tree. You were 10 at the time. I was 10. This was back in 2007. Yeah. And I, it was, um, it was about 50 feet all the way. The whole tree was about that tall. <laughs> and I had climbed about a little more than halfway up. Good it, climbing. You, so you yeah. broke a bunch of bones. You were yeah. in a coma. You I were was, telling us I for was. several it was weeks. Super scary. Wow. Uh, I, when I fell, I kind of fell at an angle. Um, this book here is actually by my dad from his perspective as a parent the boy about who fell. my uh, fall from the tree. And it's a really good book. It's, um, it's filled with like a lot of what, how like, what he went through, you know, as a parent. Oh, like I can only his... imagine. Well, they didn't know if you were going to make it, right? No, if you're in a coma no. for three weeks, that's there's, not there's a good doubt, sign. Right? So, and wow. connect the dots for us on the platelet donation. So, how did that become such a big cause for you? Well, when I like when I woke up and recovered fully from my fall, I, I when I was about 11 or 12, I understood what platelets and blood were mm -hmm. and how like people who had injuries needed them. And so, you did get platelet infusions or whatever they call it while you were recovering. Yes. And that helped you in what way? Well, it gave me the, it gave me the energy I needed to survive okay. and to heal myself further and back to the point where I am now. It gave me that, yeah. And then finding this out, you said, I am going to be a donor for the rest of my life. Yes. Basically as often as I can be. <laughs> you go that's often. a big part of your weekly routine. And that's routine. quite yes, a commitment. It yeah. 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 Um, it is. It's a huge part of my weekly commitment. I've been doing it since I was 16, and uh, so about four years now. Um, and like accumulatively, I have the Red Cross app, and accumulatively, I've done 173 units. I don't know too much wow. about like wow. how you do it, but that's that's a lot. Of, that's a lot. And it's really needed, it is isn't really it? Needed. Yeah, because for the patients. With the burn victims, they need platelets so that they can heal. And the young kids with chronic disease, I donate a lot for them so that they have a chance to thrive as adults and live more fulfilling lives. Now, Felix, you don't have to get too sciencey with us, but for pe most people who don't know the difference, like what's the difference between just a regular blood donation and a platelet donation? Is it a lot more um, time or is it more invasive? Well, it is more time. With blood donations, they just, once you get the needle in, they let the blood drain out of you and then after 10 minutes or 11 minutes, you're done, and they take the needle out and wrap you up with the COVID, mm -hmm, and you get mm -hmm. your cookies. And your orange juice. <laughs> and you're on the way. And, your orange juice, yeah. <laughs> and you're on the way. With platelets, it's a little different. Um, they Once they get the needle in, they take your blood out into a big machine, which uh, turns it, and then it separates the blood and the platelets and the plasma. And they keep the platelets and the plasma, but they send the red blood cells back into your arm. Wow. So okay. that you can keep that and do it again in another. And it's a lot more time consuming. It is. It takes yeah. about two hours okay. every but time. But still, in the there. grand picture yeah. of things, when you're helping people lives. with cancer. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. And yeah. now we just want to point out the Red Cross really has a critical need for uh, platelet type O negative blood. And on your screen here is how you can make an appointment to donate with the Red Cross. The blood donor app is one way. You can go to redcrossblood.org or call 1-800-RED-CROSS. And Felix, we just want to say thank you for coming here. And we're so what glad you're story. okay. Yeah, thank yes. you. Yeah. Oh my and gosh. Thank you. And you can also help by climbing smaller trees. Yes. Smaller trees, well, taking the knee yeah. down. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit bigger now, so I don't really fit in between the I'd still trees. stay away. Just a little. That's good news, Felix. Yeah, stay out of trees. We'll be